Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I've got a great new project for you guys this week because in this video we're going to laser cut these really nice and colorful robots. If you like them and you want to create them yourself, watch till the end because I'm going to show you step by step how you can create each and every one of these. Uh, if you like the video, let me know, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, always nice to read them. And let's start with the first step, cutting all the ply with the size to create these robots. So if we take a look at the design, uh, when you open it you've got these five robots. Uh, first I um, rotated them uh, 90 degrees and then I uh, created a toolpath, so these are these two options. Nice thing about the toolpath is um, it will not be cut. So it will not be, uh, you can see here, there's no output um, possible. So I created uh, two paths around all the little uh, robots. And then I combined them in two lines. So this is one. And now I, I can see it will fit on my uh, sheet of plywood because the plywood sheets are 61 centimeters in width and uh, 122 centimeters in length. So if I combine these ones, you can see this will fit on the on the width of the, the sheet. So I can uh, create um, a sheet which has the size of uh, let's say 27 centimeters by the whole width of the of the sheet. And then the next one, I will cut this one. This will be uh, 22 centimeters uh, wide and also cut uh, from the width of the, the plywood sheet. So this way you can easily determine uh, yeah, the size of the sheets you need to cut. And I will also cut these ones in separate little sheets. I think it's easier to engrave or cut on the machine. So I will create this one, this one, and this one, and then these two. So let's start cutting uh, the plywood sheet to size, and then we can put them in the uh, Falcon A1. So I've got my little cut list, all the sizes I need to cut. So first, uh, as explained, this one is 61 centimeters in width. So first I will cut one on 27 centimeters, cut it all the way through. Then one on 22 centimeters all the way through. Then I can cut the individual sizes which I uh, need for the different robots. So let's do that. So now I've got all my sheets of plywood. I will do a quick sand over to get uh, rid of the sharp edges. So all the plywood sheets are cut. Uh, I have labeled them so I know exactly which sheet is for what robot. Uh, I have set up the Falcon A1. This is a really nice and compact, uh, fully enclosed uh, 10 watt laser. I did a review on this machine a few weeks ago on my channel, so check it out. I will link it up here somewhere. Uh, as this machine didn't come with a honeycomb bed, I will put a, an aluminium sheet on the bottom of the machine to protect it uh, during cutting. And I will raise this a little bit so I will get a cleaner cut on the other side as well. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, now if I can get uh, the first design, get this one. I can move it on here and I can use the camera to align it. So it should fit like this. That's the benefit of having a camera. So I will uh, set the focus and then we can start cutting. So the first one is ready, uh, let me open the top, it's easier. This machine really has a very nice and clean cut as you can see. All the pieces just came out perfect. I will get it out and then we'll do the rest of the robots. So here you can clearly see uh, the benefit of having these aluminium sheets on the bottom. Uh, let me show you over this side. Uh, you can see the, the oak pieces which I've put underneath uh, the plywood. And also all the residue on these aluminium sheets. 
it would have all been uh, on this uh, bottom of the machine and I don't uh, like that very much. So until I've got a, a honeycomb bed which will fit in this machine, I will use like this. So all the cutting has been done and the uh, Falcon A1 really did a good job. Let me show you the results. You tell me, this, come on, I mean, this is such a nice uh, cut. No scorching at all, very thin and clean lines. So I really, really like this. So next up, uh, let's take all these parts out or maybe just leave them in, then do the painting and then we can glue everything together. So that's it for this week's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me show you the robots up close. One, two, number three, and four, and finally number five. I think they turn out really nice. Of course you can create uh, any color you like. Uh, I like these uh, color schemes. Uh, they only took, I think around maybe seven, eight minutes uh, each uh, robot to cut out on the Falcon A1, so that's a 10 watt laser. So it's not too bad and uh, you have to glue them together of course and uh, paint them but uh, I think again they turned out really nice. So uh, if you like them let me know, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!